Well, President Museven today held five campaign trial. His first trial started in Bukma Island. This was followed by the second trial that was held in Makindye West. <laughs> From Makindia Waste, he proceeded to Makindia East. Of course, here in Makindia East, business was not as usual. Here in Makindia West, of course, the campaign trial started on a good footing by musicians entertaining people, which saw a very huge crowd of people turning up. Of course, here, we shall have to show you one of the musicians, and that is uh, Catherine Aixasera, who did cause a little bit of comedy here. <laughs> After that, President Museveni did arrive in at around 5.30 p.m. <laughs> Here, he did tell the people that uh, what he has registered from the neighboring constituency, that is marking the West, there were complaints of underdevelopment in that region. Complained to him that much of the development that would have come to Makindia West was taken to Makindia East. But President Museveni told the people here that this was a result of a political suicide that the people of Makindia West did uh, commit in 2011. He told them that they voted an opposition diehard, and that is none other than Hussein Kianjo, whom he accused of not lobbying for development to come to his constituency. <laughs> But President Museveni was quick at saying that as a head of state, uh, he does not look into Peter Peter developments like small roads. He said, at the head of state, he looks at bigger projects that are developmental or beneficial to all the people. But <laughs> Expressway, his speech also here centered on corruption. President Museveni did tell the people here it was actually his first acknowledgement that he was behind uh, the sacking of uh, the defunct Lord Mayor of Kampala, and that is Arias Lukwago. <laughs> Timothy Sebastian, the PS Television, here in Makindye East.